Hey guys, I'm here with Bob Jernigan. Now this is a special interview because is this the this is the blue one? This is the, the what champagne? Sunfire Red. Sunfire Red. Anyway, Bob just won with one of his models the GSL out in Salt Lake. What class was it? Factory stock. Factory stock. Now we'll look at that car in a minute. But this isn't the car that won the GSL, but this did not. This car did not. Did not win the GSL, but this is the second one that he's got here. It's amazing. And he, I just want to show you what he had to do, even to qualify to be in that that show. All, you don't show up with a card. Look, look at this. So he's he's got this. First, I want you to see this book is complete. This is one model kit. This is his build book for one model kit, and he has the history of the Royal Bobcat, the 64 Royal Bobcat, the history of it. And just Bob, go through and, and just. This is just, this is just a brief uh, list of the features that the model has. So it's front and back, yeah. first two pages up front. And really I do that just to help the judge. Yeah. So I can, so he doesn't have to look through the whole book. He right. can just skim the top and look at what he wants to. But it's, it's basically just bullet points so that you see the features of the car. Yeah. This particular car is an, uh, uh, Mer or Mercury. It's a uh, Royal Bobcat. So uh, that involves Ace Wilson. And this is a short history of Ace Wilson and the, uh, the Pontiac dealership that did the factory supported soup ups. Okay. This is just a factory manual that I buy because the car is factory stock and there's a lot of features and options that the car can come with, but the model manufacturer doesn't make it with that, so we want to add some of those things to add some interest and depth. So I, I like to start out with, with a book like that. Yes. This is a paint chip for, for that year for Pontiac. And, and which one of these colors is um, Sunfire Red, it's right okay. here. That's it, that's the color we got on it. So that's and that's what colors on it's factory paint, and then here's your interior options that go with different colors okay. of exterior. Yeah. So you want to keep things authentic. Yeah. Um, this is a kit '64 Grand Prix that I just kind of uh, propped up and was just kind of looking at it in the very beginning, my yeah. inception. Uh, Really, after looking at the kit body, I didn't like it. It had it was pretty wavy. Yeah, and so I, I got a promo body, which was much straighter. Really? Okay. And so this is just a comparison yeah. between the two. You know, promo molded in rear end kit promo. The promo, the hood was molded shut, and I just cut it out and had to do a lot of sanding to clean yeah. it up. So that's what that's all about. Um, I reinforce all my bodies with steel. Oh, wow. Uh, you use steel wire here, steel wire in the A-frames. Yeah. Because the car, when I get done cutting it, and all the cutting yeah. is done with thread, is going to become very thin and delicate. Yeah. It's going to break. Well, so we what a great idea. Yeah. We don't want it to break. So this is just pictures of, you know, as it's getting cut out, how I tabbed it, because it was a promo. Oh, okay. And we're converting. We're taking a frame from a... Uh, uh, Mobius kit, the 61 Pontiac, so and that, we're using every, all, right. all of its under underpinnings. Okay. So, its floorboard, its chassis, and we're going to make it fit this body. Um, so I made some tabs. Yeah. I'm trying to move along a little bit here because I don't want to. Uh, I mean, there was no back to the car by the yeah. time I got done. Hand built all of it, all from scratch, all the jams. Uh, and I'll move on. We'll jump back here to hinges. The door hinges. Those are the door hinges. Okay. I make them out of steel wire and brass tube. And I put the tubes on the door so I can take the door off until I'm ready to put gotcha. it on there permanently. That way, while I'm working on it, I can pull it off and, and until I paint it. And of course, we want everything perpendicular and square. Yeah. When the door opens. Just basic stuff, trunk hinge, door gaps. Oh, wow. Yeah, to even get the door gaps right. You know, it's get just them, a feat in itself, I'm sure. Get them tight. Uh, the trunk hinge, real simple. How do you get a trunk to, trunk lid to stay open? When you when you run your wire through the tube, just put a little dog leg in it. It'll give it enough friction to hold yeah, it open. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what am I doing here? 
trunk jam, building all this. And it's three dimensional, it has a rain gutter yeah, in it. Yeah, I noticed a gasket. that. Yep. I did notice that the gasket was the there. The latch and then the taillight buckets and all the other stuff that goes in behind it. Uh, when you go to GSL, they want you to have reference pictures. Okay. So when you're doing stuff like this, this is all custom handmade. And this is what we're yep. duplicating. Look at so that. I, that's to show the judge. Right. The book is just as much work as the car. The book's a lot of work. Yeah. Okay, so you can see here, I wanted to duplicate that. I wanted the striker plate. I wanted all that stuff in there. Um, and this is just little stuff you overlook. We're getting ready to paint it. Yep. Um, and I, I think that's out of order. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, so we're we're probably a month into the car here. You know, we got the doors open and we got it sitting on its chassis, uh, building the inner front jams. Yeah. Here's the Ventura chassis interior door panel. Okay. Okay. The back door panel. Okay, we're gonna separate them all out. Yep. And the kick plates. We're going to use the kick plate to support the dash, like this. Yeah, okay, there you go. And, and I'm cut the back seat out of the original kit. Okay. And here it is. And then we're going to make it fit. Uh, same with this. This is the original 59 year old kit. We're going to cut the console out, cut the seats out, and we're going to separate them all. Building our jams. Here we're building the door panels. This is individual pieces yeah. of half round styrene strip that we're gluing on a smoothed out door panel to give it our tuck and roll pattern. We're getting closer. There's the completed door panel, and here's the real door panel. Oh, man. I see where you were going with that now. Okay. I can't wait to show him the actual car too. Yeah, it's just amazing. And this is just for the judge. This is for him to look and see what you did. Yeah. All this chrome on this door panel is real metal. That's it's all I like about your stuff. It's got it's real, all real, real metal. metal. This is an option up here. That is a map light dome light. That's in that accessory book. That all right, car good has morning. Welcome everybody to the CKM Club Summer Classic for today. So this is just just the back seat. We're cutting out the armrest. Real quick, we had to stop for the award ceremony. Okay. And uh, he got a top ten, and he got best of show, by the way. Okay. So anyway. Okay. So cut around the edges, hinge it. Yeah. Oh wow, that's even hinged. This is the original real car, so yeah. we've got something to compare it to. This is for the judge, and I tag it, reference picture. Yeah. So he can find it. Front of the real car. We go back, we put on a piece of photo etch, and we put a piece of parchment cloth in here to hide all yep. the mechanics in the back. Wow. So. Okay, so I see you can slide the doors right off. Yep, the doors are out of the way. So now we can look inside and see what's going on. Yeah. And we're going to start fitting these front seats in. We're going to cut them apart. We're going to make hinges. Hinges. We pin them so they fold. And this is where it starts getting interesting here. So this is out of the out of the promo. Okay. So we got to sand and fill, make all this fit. And you can see this car, the the uh, Mobius kit. It's a stick. Yeah. So we're gonna drill a hole here. We're gonna cut these. We're gonna cut these openings out. Hollow the inside. This is the ashtray. We're gonna make the door out of the nickel silver sheet. Nickel silver. I know exactly what that is. Yeah. So we're gonna solder on hinges. And we're gonna come down here, and now the nickel door is it's <laughs> pinned and it opens. Wow, that is something. Okay. Our console door, we solder on hinges. And so you guys know what these hinges are. They're actually NASCAR race car hood hinges from Model Car Garage. Okay. So you can cut them out of there, fold them over, and solder them onto a piece of nickel silver. You got yourself a hinge. It's an easy hinge to make. Um, this is photo etch from uh, Model Car Garage. It's for a 67 GTO, but it's identical. Okay. The Grand Prix has identical uh, console. 
and so we're gonna we're gonna cut this apart into pieces and we're gonna glue this to the top of that oh yeah we're gonna glue this here and we're gonna glue this up here but we're gonna we're gonna cut the ashtray door out <laughs> this is the yellow gold filled where, uh, wire square oh wire. okay 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 you can see I'm gonna take it we're gonna bend it around because these Pontiacs have a chrome chrome lip Here's the ashtray door open, the console door. We've got that photo etch all cut. We've got the wire on here. It's it's been nickel plated now though. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna glue all that into place. And then here's our reference yeah. picture for the judge. Yeah. Okay. Our glove box. It has a glove box? Yeah. There's a glove box. And you can see real how thin the edge is here. Yes. And so the glove box door we make out of nickel silver sheet. Okay. We bend it okay. so that we have a scale thickness. This is the vacuum gauge that sits right here. We're going to machine, we're milling that right now. That's on the lathe. Yeah. Here's our glove box door. We go back to those NASCAR yep. hinges, make make a hinge, and I take a little bit of nickel silver sheet, and I make the the jam for the glove box. <laughs> oh yeah, you sure did. I see that now. And it's to scale thickness. And this scale is important. Thickness to really. This is important because that's what changes it from looking like a toy yep. and makes it look like a replica. Real, yeah. So we do the same here. We take and we mill the back of this plastic out and get it real thin. So that everything is scale. Yeah. And here's the back of the glove box. And we build the box. Oh my goodness. Cup holders, because no way. Old cars didn't have cup holders. They were only in the glove box store. They were made for going to the drive in. Yep. Congratulations, Thank you. Thank you. Randy, I appreciate you. Okay. The promos or the kits do not come with air conditioning, and I wanted to air, I wanted to, to model that. Yeah. So I I machine the uh, air vents, the ball the ball vent <laughs> out of brass oh, the tubing, and I made it real you thin. Turned it down. I turned it down. A piece of tubing. Wow. Yes, to make it fit the grill. Wow. This is the lap coolers that go underneath the, the ductwork for the lap cooler. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I also changed this back. Uh, it was very light in the kit. I didn't want to. I didn't like it. Yeah. Okay. On an air conditioned car, it doesn't have the three gauge pod up here like most Pontiacs. They, uh -huh. You know, they're known for. They have an air conditioning vent and a clock. So I, I milled this on a mill and made it out of brass. Yeah. And then nickel plated it. So you're doing all your own plating. Yes. Okay. And here's your lap cooler. It's mounted now. And, and use the use the photo inch lap cooler piece. This is the tilt tilt steering column, drilled and penned. And here's our reference picture, so you can see the yep. air vents, you can see the vacuum gauge, you see the clock in the center vent. Um, you can see down here the lap coolers. Did you take these photographs? Was this a car you went and saw, or is it just pictures you drew on the internet? Right off the internet. Yeah, okay. Right off the internet. I, I will download about 100 pictures. So here's a little closer up of the clock and all that. And then here's the interior when it's complete. And you can see the inside of the glove box. You can see yeah. the vacuum gauge. The ashtray door is open. Console's open. Um, the clock and air vents up here, the lap coolers are down there. This is all open, but it's to scale. Yeah. Look at the edges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the vent poles. Oh yeah, see that. How do you like that? Wow. Okay. Now we move on to the fun engine. part, the yeah. engine. So, I bought these, uh, these are actually lug nuts. They're the male stud type lug nut okay. for like a tuner. Yep. But if you drill a small hole and stick it in there, it looks just like a spark plug. It does, actually. Mm -hmm. So I, that's what I do with those. There's a picture of the real engine, a reference picture. We're building a 421 because it's a, it's a, a, a Bobcat. I didn't want to bother you while you were so this is where I get my inspiration right yeah, here. Yeah. So I'm looking at this picture and I'm and you know I'm going to formulate how I'm going to make all this stuff. 
That is the stud from a tuner. That's the same one I used for a spark plug. You turn it over and now you have a water sending Look at that. <laughs> right? Okay. We put that, this is metal, we put that in there. We're gonna turn the pulleys on the front of the engine. Yeah. This is the beginning of the alternator out of a piece of aluminum. And you can see the pulleys, you can Look see the alternator, you oh. can see how it looks. Wow. The fan belts are plumbing uh, part O-rings that are turned down and they're flattened on the top side so that they look like a fan belt. Man. Air compressor, machine yep. it. There it is. All the little studs and all. Paint it up. Power, Power steering. Okay. Transmission. Transmission. Oil. Here's the thing that I did on this, and a lot of people never see this. You wash the paint out of the belt track. <laughs> no, they don't ever see that. You're exactly right. Remember that little stud yep. from the tuner? There's another one. It's the oil sending yeah. unit off of the oil filter. We start on the carbs. The Grand Prix had a cable that went from the shifter down to the transmission. We come over here, we're just going to run the wire down, but we don't have the white insulator part. But spark plug wire fits in that tuner stud perfect. Uh huh. So you just paint the top of the, of the wire, the end of the wire, white. white. And then take some satin black and just daub a little bit on there. And it makes it look like a boot. We got the exhaust studs. We have the vacuum modulator. <laughs> uh, you know, all kinds. There's it just you know all kinds of stuff. Here's the pointer yeah, timing, for the pointer, timing. Yeah. You know, uh, alternator pulley. Up in here, we've got the vacuum advance. Yeah. We have a little bracket that holds the transmission sure dipstick. We put the wiring in for the clutch, for the air conditioner. Yeah. This is, a, this is another diaphragm that controls the hot water coming out of the engine for the heater. Alternator wiring. These are just little pieces of photo etch fret. Yeah. You just cut them because they're soft, they're nickel silver, and just bend them over and make great little wire clips. Mm -hmm. and they're all just homemade. Just leftover stuff. Yeah, it's just leftover. This is the blower for the air conditioning. <laughs> Machined it out of aluminum. Used a little plastic. There it is, painted up. This is the dryer valve for your air conditioner. It's just some nuts, <laughs> some, you know. And of course, this is blown way up. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's tiny. It's tiny. So, uh, I forget, oh, this is the coil. I'm making the coil. There it is, painted. Yeah. Just make it out of aluminum. Radiator, uh, different shrouds, because the kit, it, 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 it's not a kit, it's yeah, a chrome. Right. So, I, going through the parts box. So I got a tranny cooler. That came off the Corvette Grand Sport model car garage set. And uh, the shrouds, I don't know where they came from. Hollow them out. I'm going to put in the radiator grill stuff. Yeah. Fix all that up. Mufflers. I really like to bend my own mufflers because I like the way the ends curl over on a real muffler. But most oh, yeah. kits mm -hmm. don't do that. It's just flat. Right. I can't it stand is, yeah. it. So I, what I do is I take a piece of brass tubing and I thin it way down. And the reason I do that is because I want this lip to look like just a piece of tubing that would be on a muffler. Yeah. And then this is the ends of the muffler. I lay those out. I clip them all together, push the tubing in, shape them all so they're all the same. And then we solder sheet nickel silver to it. And we have a muffler. Look at that. And so now I got my rolled in yep. that I like. And the uh, muffler clamps, by thinning that down like that, they fit right over. Okay. So it works out real good. Aluminum tubing. Well, here's everything painted up. Yep. Here's aluminum tubing, make some exhaust, and we're going to bend them around here. And uh, we're fitting, fitting everything fitting it in, making it work. Uh, you know we all hate you, right? Pardon me? <laughs> you know we all hate you, right? Wow, wow. Okay. I hope not. Power steering. To Power the steering hoses box. go up to the pump. Um, you're just wiring everywhere. Yeah. Like you're breaking fuel lines, all that stuff. Get all that in now. 
emergency brake cable. Yeah. Guitar string. Is that what that is? Okay. Works perfect. Yeah. Works perfect. You can see, you get a good look yep. at it right yep. there. Yeah, it is guitar string. Um, the emergency brake cable. The real car has these little loops that hold up. Yeah. These are train parts. Yeah. Okay, there's our coil, coil painted. And then we have some reference pictures here. There's our mufflers and our brake line running across and our transmission and those cooling lines that yeah. I pointed out earlier. It's, it's all there. So we're gonna wire up the firewall here. We even have the vacuum hose coming off of the uh, brake booster. And I don't know if you can see it in here. There's, I bent some wire the way the real car is. Oh, so, so to hold, to the hold it pops over the top, yeah. Yep. And this becomes, starts becoming more congested in yeah, here, yeah. this stuff, you know. Again, we're using the little nickel silver left over. There's that little valve yep. that was way blown up real big. We need air conditioning hoses. Phone wire works beautiful. Phone Skin wire. it, yeah. paint it black. You got yourself an insulated compressor hose. <laughs> Oh. A lot of cars from the 60s, they had this Freon uh, window that yeah. you could check the mm -hmm. Freon to see if it was green. That's yep. what that is. <laughs> and then there it is. It's mounted down in there. So there's a lot to overlook here. Here's our little dryer valve. Here's all of our tranny cooler, our air conditioning condenser, and all that. It's all there. Even the battery, I just... I didn't, I didn't like the tops, yeah. so I just sanded them off and cut a uh, rod and raised them up and gave them a more three-dimensional look. Same with the radiator under the cap. I raised it up a little bit. <coughs> I put on the tags. Yeah, the tag hanging under the radiator cap mm -hmm. there. That's mm -hmm. The blow-off hose. And then if you look at the real car, it starts looking uh -huh. awfully familiar. No, these are these are for the judge. Yeah. Now here's our trim rings, our beauty rings. Okay. On the on the rims. So we're gonna turn those out of brass. Y'all be safe going home. You too, buddy. You guys. Yep, guys. So these are the center caps that go in the middle. And then I I had custom made photo etch for the Pontiac Motor Division. Oh yeah. Okay. And then I solder that on there. Okay. These are the door latches, milled out of a brass tubing or, or stock there they are they're polished up and now we're gonna plate them yeah and first we copper plate this is a photo etch that was made for me I'm being nosy. and we're copper plating all this stuff here they all are and now it's all nickel plated all of it Man. Picture of the real car. Picture of what I started with. You can see these red taillight lenses. The yeah. AMT just they just ruin the car. Um, but I found a replacement for that. There's some of the photo etch going on. We got some of the foil, foil work, headliner, and the car didn't have the little lines in it. I took a Dremel and you cut did them. that. I cut them in there. Yeah. Making the sail panel. It's got to be covered in cloth. Here it is covered now. And then I took some uh, plastic rod and covered it with foil to give me my chrome that runs around the edges inside. Really? That's what you did? Mm-hmm. Here's your coat hooks. Oh, it's even got the coat hooks. And the, and the map light, dome light, which is optional. This is what's going on in the door. These are the magnets that pull the door oh, okay. shut. Okay. Bumper jack. The bumper jack was molded. This is the part that hooks on your bumper. Okay. This is what they molded for that. So I took and I ground all that off and I put that on there. All these years. So there's your there's your bumper jack after it's repaired. Just one mark. Trunk. So we have our jack. We have the tail light buckets. We have the trunk latch. We have, this is a step up in the trunk for the frame. We have the little wire coming off for the light going up in the back. Really? And here's a picture of the real car. We also did the trunk mat. 
Yeah, I saw that. Sure. So, and here's the real car. So it looks kind of familiar. Thank you for everything. There's a real car in the same color. Thank you. Real car. That's right. Kit. So here's our matting and trunk mats. Trunk light, trunk latch, jack instructions. I go to OEM parts, download all of the stickers for the car, and then shrink them down and make decals. <laughs> so they're the actual 64 yeah. jack instructions. Pinning the doorknobs. I always buy two or three of these when I'm going to do something uh -huh. like this, so I just take the tape and go back to the original one yeah. and then make my template so that I know where to put it on the car. And here, these are real rubber gaskets. Oh, it is. It's not just some plastic that's painted. It's real rubber. Really? And the door door catches and latches that we've milled, we saw mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah. These are the headlight, and they don't have any frenzels in them. Yeah. So we, I set those up on a jig and used a, a square to cut them. Front bumper, the original 59-year-old front bumper. Ground the headlights out very carefully, and then we inserted our. Yeah. The lenses have these brass little buckets on the back of them. Putting on some photo etch. Oh well. Hood latch. Hood latch, yeah. With spring striker plate. No way. Wow. Real car that I modeled it after, and it is a Bobcat, extremely rare, in Sunfire Red. And then we have the kit. So all that time that you took just to make this book is probably a lot more time than most guys even take time to build a model kit. Oh yeah. I like this picture, real, oh, wow. real car kit. Look at that. <laughs> that's amazing. That is amazing. And that's it. And that's it. That's that's only 600 pages in a book <laughs> that he had to do to. Now we're going to take a look at the car. So, wow. Okay. I'm so amazed. now, after you've looked at the book, you can look at the car and know what you're looking at or know what you're looking for. for. Yeah. You know. So, there's the car. Yeah, if we can make it stay still, that would be awesome too. I was chasing it around earlier when I was videoing. And, the, and you can turn it. So I'm just amazed. I really to, to see everything that you made because people well, now you know they don't realize how mm -hmm. much time. How, how how long did it take to build this? Seven hundred hours. Seven hundred hours. That's all, huh? Wow. It is. It's just now that you've talked about all these little fittings and do that things that you made and the door latches. I, I mean, it's just. I mean, you'd have to just sit and look at it for hours to really appreciate everything that's been done. I'm totally blown away now that I saw that book. Well, the book is, you know, really helps with exactly what was done. There's the rubber gaskets for the doors. Yeah. Push that door shut. Just tap it. Let me get this focused. I don't want to miss this. Oh, well. <laughs> and the undercarriage is just... Wow. It's got the trunk light inside there. Yeah, that's just now Pontiac has a trunk light in the lid. You can it's it's on a slide, you can slide it loose. And inside the light itself is a coil of wire on a spring. Yeah. You could take that light and pull it out here and walk oh, it. Oh, if you could use it for outside. Wow. You can see the cup holders right down through that. <laughs> the best place to look. 
I don't think it's going to be possible with the glare. Here, just turn it. Oh yeah, no, turn it back. I saw him. I saw him right there. There's the cup holders inside the, the glove box. The lid of the glove box. Wow. And all the the that on the hood there is is it's actually a piece of strip plastic. And I was trying to figure out how I was gonna glue it down with that curve. Yeah. So what I did was I drilled. There were actually water drainage holes. Is that what they were? Okay. That, that and that is the lip that catches them before they go back yeah. in the engine compartment. So I drilled it and I put. I would leave the drill bit in it yep. and bend the bend plastic it. Mm -hmm. around it, glue it, and then move to the next hole. <laughs> really? Now I'm curious. As far because the judges are so looking for so many details, not having a hood that's hinged, that's not something they look for because evidently not. Okay. Evidently not. It seems to be, I was concerned about it, and I walked around and every car I see on the table has their hood laying next to it. Yeah. So, uh, I'll give you a little insight, because I don't like it either. So, now, my next car that I'm building, Oh wow. Oh my goodness, and they'll actually work. No. Yeah, they work. That's I tell you what, if you can make a hood lat or if you can make hood hinges work properly, that's gonna be the um, I'm making them. That is that is something else. The next one is a 66 gram tray. It'll have working hood hinges. That is beautiful. Wow. The next car will blow this thing away. And the carburetors are what kind of carburetors are they? They were they're res like they're, they're 3D printed. Oh, they're 3D printed. Yeah. Okay. There's a host of goodies. Yeah, there is. I have a pretty good parts collection. And really, I'll tell you, nobody makes a set of Rochester six-pack carburetors 3D printed that nobody makes them. So nobody really makes the Rochester four barrels that you need. Yeah. Well, that is it is just absolutely. And this one is the is uh, Model Car Magazine's. It's got a large picture in there. Yes, that's yeah. the car you're looking yeah. at. That was yep, it's in this Man. month's issue. Wow, wow, wow. And this one is the one that won the GSL. Yes. And we won't go near as into the details, but it has all the same stuff that one has. Just not as much. So this car I finished in, in like three months. Uh -huh. And when I got done with it and I started this car, this one, Tim, Tim Kalankwitz and I were mm -hmm. up in a hotel room after Atlanta, and we said, okay, we're going we're gonna to tweak each other's cars. We're going to critique them. Yeah. So he's looking at my car, and he goes, you know, Bob, mm -hmm. your seat, your interior is a little light. You, you could have done a little better job. Okay. And you got to be brutal with each other. <laughs> but, uh, so I said, okay. I said, all right. I said, are you sure? He goes, yeah, it just, it's just not right. It's okay. That's when I built that car. Okay. <laughs> so that has a really nice interior. So this is an older build than this one? Only a, only by about four months, yeah. five months. So as soon as you finished this, you went ahead and started on that one. These vent windows uh -huh. are hand-bent brass, is nickel it? plated. Something, man. It's, it's some, some, got to be one of the best model kits, <laughs> either one of these that I've ever laid eyes on. If you look in the mirror and look up at the headliner, it's cloth. Is it? Well, maybe, yeah, you can see it in the mirror. <laughs> you want me to shut that Yeah, off? let's shut this one off too. Just. There you go. You can turn it. So, if you look in the mirror there you can see the headliner cloth headliner the door mirror is three pieces machine brass soldered together really plated. I love your windshield tinting at the top too that is a 25 year old decal from detail master really they used to sell a whole package of them on a sheet of all different shapes Well, 
good stuff. Well, and it's got it's got the MCG photo etch grill on the front of it. it, it it's got like I say, it, it has a lot of what that car has, just not as much. It doesn't have air conditioning for one. Oh right yeah, it back. doesn't have air conditioning. You're right. But it's got a go go girl. Yeah, she's she's right there. <laughs> All right, Bob. And the wheels are all machined and plated. That's all brass. Different style. And you look at those and you think, oh, they're not even the same. They're not even the same wheel. And they are the exact, they're the Mobius plastic lug wheel. Both yeah, of them. Yeah. But the center caps are different. Oh, thank you for sharing all this. All right. I hope I didn't bore you. To you death. didn't bore me, and people are going to love this stuff. I absolutely love well, it. You have to give me your card because I'm not familiar with your, I will. with your YouTube. I will. Sure will. So, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks. I can't tell if the screen is clear or not because I took my glasses off. All right. Yeah, it is. It looks yes. good. Yep. But I look more, way more attractive with my glasses off. So, I tell you what. <laughs> so it, anyway, guys, uh, yeah, look for the uh, wild bobcat. <laughs> bobcat or bobcat? It's a bobcat. Bobcat. Pontiac in uh, Model Cars Good Magazine. Man, uh, this blue one here it won the show in the last show in yes, Salt Lake. Uh, yeah, yeah, so. class. Anyway, man, so thank you so much. Thank you. This was, you miss the details if you don't talk to the guy who built it. That it sums this whole thing up. All right, you guys take care. Thank you.